Hello, this is Hassan from Hassan Reviews. Yeah, good to see you. And if you haven't noticed, I've got a bit of a new haircut. Yeah, I used to like my hair shorter than longer. So anyway, what's today's review? Well, it's my quick thoughts on Hotel Transylvania 3, which I actually saw just a few days ago. So, first off, I should explain what I thought, think about the first two. I like the first two Hotel Transylvania movies easily. I think they're definitely Adam Sandler's best movies in in a while, and, well, okay, I am, a, uh, Grown Ups 2 is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine, to be honest, but Hotel Trans the Hotel Transylvania films are he's most consistent in ages. I definitely feel like I enjoy the animation, I mean, I haven't seen Dexter's Laboratory or Samurai Jack, but I love Gendry Travikovsky's um, designs and animation, it's so fast-paced and so good. The voice acting's great, not just Sandler, but also Kevin James, uh, David Spade, Steve Buscemi, uh, Selena Gomez and also uh, Andy Samberg and even later on the other and also in some of the other films I mean John Lovitz, um, Mel Brooks um, and even Adam S Sandler's daughter Sadie does well too I forget the actor who plays um, Mason Johnny's kid um, Dennis I don't I forget the actor for him but yeah he's good too so anyway what are, what's the story of the third movie well um, Dracula is now pretty, well, Dracula, once again, voiced by Sandler, is feeling lonely and is trying to find, it, trying to go out on a date. Mavis sees her father's worries and thinking he's stressed out because of work, sends, decides to take the family on a cruise along with the whole of Dracula's friends. Initially, Dracula's very hesitant, but he goes along to spend more time with his family. Eventually, while on there, he meets the captain, and he falls in love with her. He zings twice. Strange. And he, he starts going on dates and Mavis is a little bit worried about it when he, because she thinks she, he should be spending more time with, with her, Johnny and Dennis and all of his friends. What neither, what neither of them know is that the captain is actually an ancestor to Dracula's nemesis of Van Helsing. Abraham Van Helsing, I think that's his name. So he, And she's trying to kill off all the monsters to follow in her family's legacy. And yeah, you can guess where this is going to lead to, if you know the story troops. And yeah, I guess it's a little bit similar to the first movie, and compared to the first two, it's not as good, but I still love it. I think the animation still looks good. The jokes can be still... There's some still good funny jokes. The voice acting, favorite part of it, absolutely still good. I can watch it any time. I just love hearing... Sandler, once again, does a great job, as does everyone else. I think, yeah, I think everyone. And there's some really good funny moments. I mean, I love the scene when I heard a dark, Wayne Newton's Darkest Shane, which many of you will know is from Ferris Bueller. Um, I love that scene, hands down, uh, when Dra when Vlad is just walking around on the cruise. Uh, yeah. And also there's some real there's a really funny the climax is pretty funny when it comes to music and Johnny's way of defeating well, stopping uh the Van Housing's plan to kill off the uh, the monsters. Um but uh alright, let's get enough of my main problems. I mean you can sort of see this as a bit of a knockoff of the first movie, but I also see it as a bit of a knockoff of Shrek. Specifically the first movie. Because you can definitely see, well, the whole Dracula and the, the Captain romance is the same as Shrek Fiona from the first movie. I mean, I love Shrek, and I still like this, but yeah, you can you can easily identify it. And the Captain, you know what's going to happen. She's going to vent. She wants to kill off Dracula, but then falls in love with her. And yeah, you're going to see the misunderstanding cliche, but compared to, say, some like the Nostalgia Critic, I actually or should I say Doug Walker, I actually do like his, um, I actually don't mind this cliche, compared to some. I'm going to do a list on some of my, on my least favorite cliche, big time. Though that's coming up in the future. But, you know, in the end, I gotta say, I enjoy Hotel Transylvania Free Monster Vacation. Yeah, they subtitle this. Strange. But you know what, I give it a good score. I mean, I still prefer Hotel Transylvania 2 and 1 more, but, def but I still think this is a good movie. So what I'm going to give it, uh, I'll give it seven and a half half stars. And you know what, I'm even more pleased that the, that the critics, okay, most of them, are actually starting to acknowledge this is a good trilogy. 63%, finally! 
Oh, it feels good to see this these this series get so much deserved recognition. So, what am I going to review next time? Ugh. Well, maybe this will be a clue. Uh, yay, yay. Uh, right, let's wait. I mean, I knew this was going to come, so... What can I say? Here's your clue. I bet you would figure it out now. Well, this is... I'm going to review its sequel. So, this is Hazard from Hazard Reviews Out, and... Well, guys, wish me luck. <laughs>